Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on quick and show you how you can download a font for Creative Space. If you are familiar with uh, Cricut Design Space, if you've used their software, you may already know how to do this, but I wanted to show for those who don't know how to use um, fonts that you download from online and how you can use the glyphs from these fonts inside of Creative Space. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Creative Fabrica, and this is the font that I'm going to install. It's called Chunky Retro. Go ahead and download this. If you have the Creative, Fab Creative Fabrica membership, this is included in your membership. You can download this. It won't cost you anything extra. If you don't, you can um, purchase it if you like or find another font that has glyphs. And what I mean by glyphs are these little things right here. See the extra little swashes that you get um, with the font that gives you the extra little look? That's what I'm talking about when I mean like the glyphs. So this font right here has extra glyphs with it. So I already went ahead and downloaded it here. Let's go. I want to open this. And this is in a zipped folder. So you can see where it says this right here. Let me make it a little smaller here. So this means I have to extract it. So I'm going to extract all, browse, and I have a font or a folder called fonts. That's what I have it in. So I'm going to click on that folder right there, select this folder, and I want to extract it. So now this has extracted into this folder. Okay, you can see this right here. These four are inside of this zipped folder. When you have um, a font that has the same font right here, this one says Retro Shadow and so does this one, Open Type and True Type. You don't need both of these. So I typically just go ahead and delete the True Type. You don't need both of them. Open Type is the one that's more up to date. It's more, um, has the capabilities of having the um, glyphs and stuff inside of it. So that's the one that you need. So all you need to do is, but if, if I should say this though, if you get a font and it only has the true type, then that's what you want to install. But if you have a choice, you always want to do the open type. So I'm going to right click on both of these or highlight both of them, right click, install for all users. Yours may just say install, but if you, if it says install for all users, that's what you want to click is install for all users. So now I am going to go to creative space. This is the uh, 2.0 version. If you have the um, older version, it works just the same for this one. It's just set up a little bit different. New project, and I'm going to go ahead and type, I'm going to click on the text box here. And I'm just going to do, um, let's just do love bug. Okay, I'm going to come over here to where my fonts are. This is the name of the fonts right here. And I'm going to type in, Chunky Retro, that's the one we just did. So click on this and you can see that it changed. But I want to get some of those extra little glyphs like I was showing you. So what you're going to need to do is come down here. This right here is my Microsoft Store. You can also have, if you don't have that, you can click on here and you can type in Character Map. So this is what we want right here, Character Map. Or you can just go to your Microsoft Store, which this is mine. And from here, you can type in character map. It is this one right here, UWP. I'm going to click on that. Now, I already have it installed on my computer, so I don't have the option to where it says install, but go ahead and install that to your computer. Okay, click out of that. I have mine pinned down here, so I'm going to click on my character map. This is how it looks when it comes up. And I want to come up here where it says find a font family, and I'm going to type in the name of that font that we just downloaded. Chunky Retro. It says the name right here. Let's go back to Creative Space and see which one I want to switch out here. Let's get a different B. Let's see what the different B looks like. So go back to your character map. I can remember which one it is. Here we go. And scroll through and find a different B that you like. So this one here. You want to double click, come over here where it says copy, go back to creative space, double click on your text, highlight this, right click and paste. And now you have a different um, letter in there with a glyph on it. Okay. You can do that for any of the letters that are on here if they have a different letter. Like let's say you wanted to see if there's another, if there's a different L. So let's go back to the character map and scroll through and see if there's an uppercase L. Okay, this one here. So we need to get rid of this on here. Just highlight and delete it. Double click. You can either right click. I'm not sure if you can do that or not. 
right click and copy, or you can come over here and copy. Okay, go back to Creative Space, highlight that, right click and paste. So now you have a different L. Okay, so let's do it with another one. Let's do text again. So if we go back to Creative Fabrica, um, there are different fonts that you can search for. I'm going to show you one of the freebies that you can get. This is a free font from Creative Fabrica. This one here, this lightning script. This one has um, the different fonts and glyphs with it as well. You can see the little extras in there. So you would just go ahead and download this like I did before. Install for all users, but I already have this font on my computer. I mean, font order. So I have lots of fonts. So this one right here, let's just do... Do the word sunshine. So come back over here to where your fonts are. Lightning. Click on that. And then this is your font. So let's go back to the character map. Come up to here. Type in the name of the font. Click on that. And let me see which one we want to switch out for this. Let's see what the H looks like. So scroll through. There's a few different H's on here. Okay, so let's get rid of this first. Double click on it. Copy. So make sure that it's down here. Copy. Go back. Double click on your text. Highlight that one. Right click and paste. So now you have sunshine in there. So one of the things that you need to do with um, Cricut Design Space is you have to weld your letters. See how they're all overlapping like this? Sure, you can see that right there. If you go ahead and click the weld button, those will go away. Now, I have not tried this with um, Creative Space with my F1 yet. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that if you needed to weld those, that that's how you do it. You want to go ahead and weld. Because if you don't, like with Design Space, that overlap is going to show on your, um, your project. So you want to make sure that you weld those first. But one of the things that you want to do, see when I click on this, I can still see the name of the font. This one I cannot. So I'm going to undo this, and you click on it. Just a little tip. Make sure you write down the name of that font if you really like it so that you can remember for another project. Because I'm not sure if there's a way that you can go back and look at it after it's already welded. So that's just a little tip. Another tip, um, once you weld this or anything that you're doing on inside of Creative Space, uh, one of the little short key, keyboard shortcuts that I like to do is Control z That will make it... Um, undo. So like, let's say you do weld, and instead of coming up here to do undo, one of the keyboard shortcuts you can do, if you do control Z, then that also un will do, that's the undo feature. So that's just a little um, keyboard shortcut if that's something that you guys find handy. That way you can use that instead of having to come up and do the undo all the time. But there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you a quick way to install your fonts and also get some of the glyphs on there. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Let me know if you'd like to see something else with um, text inside of Creative Space, like if you wanted to see how you can curve your text, other little things that you can do. I can work out a different video for you guys, but let me know. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate you.